All right, TBE back in the building. My guy. Yo, man, hey, first first thing first, man, I, I always appreciate you uh, rocking out with me, man, and showing, and showing much support, man. So I really do appreciate that. I'm, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how you, how you can make time to even do this shit. Like, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I know you're struggling, but they don't know how you can fit the time and even do this shit. Hey man, just hey, just hey, I just put it in and 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 make it happen. That's about it, man. I make it happen. Right now I'm waiting on my load. So that's that's how I'm putting it in right now, man. Hey, so so listen, man, we we just going to go ahead and jump right into it, man. You 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 know, you you touched on uh truck driver's health in particular um in particular uh, you know, watching your blood pressure and 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 yeah. stuff like that, man. And you know, sh- you know, shout out to Guilty Seven One Eight. Rest in peace to uh, to a uh, trucker named Jay. Uh, yeah. What what happened? Because you know, like I said, me, you know, let's let's be honest. And you know, like I said, I I did my tribute to a trucker named Jay. Um, you know, I know that me and him, you know, we wasn't close, you know, by, by any means we, we wasn't close at all, but right. you know, he, you know, he clapped at me a, a, a few times, you know, while he was still here, you know, but right. he, he went through, you know, like I said, when I did the, when I did the other video, uh, he went through a mature, a mature stance, right? when. When he was when he was with the other crowd, you know, he was, you know, he was like the 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 go to person to start shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. The you know, it it will it will be set up and then the ball will be passed to him and then the other people will sit back in the cut and let him take all the let him take all the shots. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, so you know, Make it fun of him himself. Mm-hmm. Then he, you know what I mean. Yeah. But when he, but but you know, respect to him because when he went through, you know, like I said, when he started going through his mature stage, he started to he started to see the shit that was happening. And he kind of like, okay, well, let me go in and fall out of this shit and 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 concentrate right. on me. So you know, much respect for you know for him doing that. So. Like I said, I started to 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 get, you know, to start feeling him because he made a video about his feet being swollen. And, you know, right. I came I came into his comment session and I was telling him about like, yo, you gotta be careful with that, you know, try to, you know, try to, you know, conversate with him through his chat session. And then, you know, an, another couple of other health issues that was touching me because you know, I, I I I I went through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So right. I was trying to, you know, conversate with old boy and, you know, trying to, you know, try to, you know, keep up with him. It, it wasn't about no bullshit or nothing like that. This was like on some for real life issues. And that's what I was touching on. Yeah, the thing the same thing I tried to do. But uh, I feel like he tried to belittle me because I was more my how small I was it? Plus, he was in the middle. This is when he was in the middle of always beefing with everybody. Mm-hmm. And I made my little Chuckle Brown video. Mm-hmm. So when I made that Chuckle Brown video, anybody associated with Chuckle Brown mm-hmm. kind of dismissed. Me. So I wasn't commenting anything about Brown. This is about him. And the fact that we were going through the same thing, right? And it's called it's called fluid. You have fluid in your body. Mm-hmm. So what it is, when you have heart failure, your, um, when your heart beat doesn't beat the way it's supposed to, mm-hmm. or it tries to make up, it creates fluid. The fluid travels throughout your whole body. Right. It causes people to have heart attacks and seizures. And so when I saw that the feet was uh, swollen up the way they were, I said, brother, that's fluid. Mm-hmm. And he basically responded back, and back at me like, oh, this, I ain't got time for your shit. Uh, you know, I mean, it was some. It was, it was. 
I was like, oh, okay, well, fuck you then. Whatever, man. <laughs> so, so when he, uh, when he felt, when he passed away, I kind of felt bad because as an older head, I should have kept shooting it at him anyway, right. whether he wanted to hear it or not. You know what I mean? And if I, I was trying to tell him that if you don't get the Floyd situation taken care of, mm-hmm. brother, you're not going to make it. Right. You're not going to make it. Because those Floyd pills is the only thing that has kept me alive over the past, I say, six, seven years. Okay. You know what I mean? So if you do not take the Floyd pills, People be like, oh, it's too much of a hassle, or oh, I'm going to pee too much. It doesn't matter. If you're peeing, it's because you have fluid. If you don't pee, then you don't have any. So if you're peeing, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. So that's what I was, I was, I was just trying to stress to the other drivers that you need to stay on your blood pressure medication. Right. If you have diabetes, you need to stay on your metformin. I don't care how much it makes you have. If you're man, that, the man bathroom, listen, that metform, man, that metformin ain't no damn joke, man. <laughs> no. But you know why? You know, hey, look, when I'm eating the way I'm supposed to, the metformin don't bother. Right. Now, if I'm out there eating some bullshit, they, mm, I ain't got no business eating, then, then you know, me, yeah. you will be stopping <laughs> you at every rest stop, stop. Every short stop. <laughs> you better make sure you keep a bucket with some trash bags. <laughs> You're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in some serious <laughs> trouble, boy. You, you ain't never lied man, about gonna, that, man. You're going to have to make an emergency you stop. You're going to be in trouble. You be like, yo, you are. That's because you ain't been doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. So on a, on a real, man, on a real, man, I, I've been talking ever, ever since, uh, you know, ever since Jay's passing. You know, I, I've been talking right. and, and stressing you know, healthcare, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these, a lot of these so-called influencers would, you know, tell you to come out here and chase the bag and everything, but they're not telling you, you to come out here. Healthcare. Yeah. Trying about getting that healthcare. You know what I'm saying? You know, come out here. To, you know what I got? What's I up? I got, um, this, I am owner operator right now. Mm-hmm. I had to have insurance. Exactly. So I, I signed up for Obamacare. It doesn't cost anything. Just sign up for Obamacare. That's what it. That's what it was originally there for. Let's for guys like myself, tell them, tell them, man. Small families, they can't, they can't afford health care. Go sign up for Obamacare or the Affordable Health Care Plan. Whatever political, if it don't make you political, uh, uh, you know what I mean. Just to say Obamacare hurts your damn feelings. Just go <laughs> sign up for the Affordable Care Act. There you go. Stop being stupid. You so, know what I mean? We're out here risking our lives driving these trucks, and our bodies are falling apart because we're sitting around all day. Mm. And all we do, we get bored, and the first thing we want to do is grab something to eat, mm. grab something to drink, mm. grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Mm. And what does it do? It tears you down. Man, for for an owner operator such as yourself, and you said that you had to get insurance, which which is which is very on point, man. I mean, if you're going to be owner operator, don't you got to get insurance for the truck, right? Don't you got to get insurance for well, the no, cargo? See, well, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an independent owner operator. I'm just owner operator. That means I pull for a company, which is a whole nother shit show. So I pull Martin's trailer. Mm-hmm. I basically work for Martin, but I drive my own truck. Yep, the but, only thing that's different is my pay. Okay, but they they're not entitled to give me insurance, right? But even listen, though I'm basically their employee, but listen, so the whole thing is kind of fucked up, right? But listen, though, I'm 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 saying this as an offset, you know, owner operator or you know or somebody would what you doing, but you still right. say like when you when you go, you know, when they come in. And and they they go out there and they buy their trucks, right? You got to get insurance right. for the truck, right? Yeah. You when That's when you pull you gotta... when you when you when you pull in other you know when you pull in the freight, you know if you got your own trailer and you pull in freight, you got to get insurance for that freight, right? Got all kinds of insurance. You Health see insurance. you see where I'm going with this, right? You see where I'm going with this. Anything, right, you see where I'm going with this. 
You see where I'm going with this? If you guys got to get insurance for everything fucking else, then why y'all out here slacking on insurance for yourself? Right. And another thing is, when you start calling around for insurance, it's crazy. Mm. Like, you know, it's real crazy. Yes, it but is. they're going to try to talk you out of the Obamacare. The insurance companies are going to try to talk you out of it. Oh, it don't cover this. Oh, it don't. Don't pay that shit. Go fine. Bro. They're trying to get into your pocket. If your pockets are not built like that, get the Affordable Care Act. And stop being hard in Man. Not listen to the insurance company because all they're trying to do is get you for some money up front. They're trying to get you for some money up front, and they don't cover no more than the Obamacare company. Exactly. They cover the exact same shit. Exactly. It's just like they try. It, it's just like what they what 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 they did to Jay, man. That they couldn't they couldn't cover him because he was at a certain weight. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, that's that's some bullshit. I don't know why nobody didn't tell him about the Affordable Care Act. Like, you're, you're, I'm I don't, I'm not trying to be a smart ass for saying this. Your wife has to be a benefit to you, or there's no need of you being married. To you. My wife found my insurance. A wife signed me up for me, for the Obamacare because she said it's going to cover the exact same thing and it's no different than the other. She called all the, all the insurance. She did that. Your wife, if you're on this road and you have a significant other, that person has to be a benefit to you to keep you alive on this road or you have no business being with them. Mm. Man, my man coming in here throwing some serious facts for you guys. Y'all better be listening. Y'all better be listening, man. See, that's the problem with y'all hard-head cats. That's the problem. Y'all, y'all come up in here. Y'all want to be hard-head. Y'all want to, y'all want to do things y'all certain way, and then y'all want to turn around and be like, you know, y'all, y'all don't want to hear what the old heads have to say. No, we, we out here right. just talking out. We out here just talking out the side of our necks and shit. That's, that's what y'all, that's what y'all telling us, you know. But we, we trying to so tell you something. Failure. We trying and to. We, I, I'm, I suffer financial failure, physical failure. I'm just trying to keep people from having to go through what I went through and what I'm currently going through. Now, you know what I mean. If you can avoid it. Mm-hmm. You know, again, like I said, man, when I when I be trying to shout out to you know when I be trying to shout out and 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 talk to these young boys and all like that, you know, they followers be on their bullshit, right? So you know, I I right. you know I try to holler to you know I try to throw my holler at uh that young boy Bobby Rich you know I'm being Bobby Reach right, you know what I'm saying and right. I had a couple of you know I had to clap back at a couple of his his subordinates you know what I'm saying because they thinking that I'm coming in here trying to talk to the young boy or try to down the young boy and all like that and it's 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 not even like that like you know I had this one dude I don't even know where the fuck he came from. But I, I think I got to clap back at you right quick while I got my man on the line. So he said, I'm trying to boast. I'm, I'm trying to boast my YouTube channel, tearing down another man. Or he says, hold on, hold on, I'll repeat it. He says, uh, you trying to boast your YouTube channel, tearing down another man, trying to tear another man down. That is so crazy. I'm unsubscribing from your channel. Don't like, don't like the content. Well, let me let me let me tell you something. Uh, total public exposure, long ass name. Let me let me let me tell you something. I I wasn't trying to tear down the young boy. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to tear down the young boy. If you listen to the contents of the video, it wasn't even about you know talking about him. He came on, asked a question, and I just gave my opinion on that question. Not on him per se. All right. So we're gonna keep it like that. Now, since you unsubscribe to me, that's cool. Because that that one subscribe ain't gonna mess with me. I appreciate you watching, and you can keep on moving. See, the problem don't is you feel like some of these guys, some of these guys are his subscribers. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're hurt right now. You know what I'm saying? They're hurt. They they like they really like the young dudes. They like them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right now, they're striking out at anybody that's bringing up his name. Mm-hmm. But what they don't understand is that we're people trying to give him advice. 
It, right. There were people trying to give him advice. He was taking it as put down mm-hmm. because so many people have, have done nothing but put him down. Right. You know what I mean? And since everybody was putting him down, trying to get one for his weight, he even took uh, uh, corrective criticism, uh, people trying to give him advice, and people trying to put him down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that wasn't the case. Like, I was just trying to help the bar because I realized once I seen his swollen feet, I knew exactly what it was. Right. And that his life was not going to change or get any better until he did one of two things. Lost weight, which is, which is almost impossible to do in this truck. Or two, get on the right medication. He needed to get on. Not wait until he was about to die or go through heart heart for all that before he got on medication. I was trying to do it before he got to that point. Right. Exactly. Once they don't diagnose you with that, then it becomes an issue of, okay, do we spend this amount of money to, uh, to bring him back around? You know, it becomes a money situation. You don't want to get yourself in the middle of white people and their money making decisions in the doctor's office. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that. Exactly. Well, TBE, man, thank you for coming on, bro. I really do appreciate it. Shout out to uh, Guilty718, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know that you was trying to get a try to get a hold of the young man. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even know that. So so definitely shout out to him. I feel bad because I didn't really push the issue. You know what I mean? I got a little butt hurt when he said what he said to me. You know what I mean? I kind of backed off after that, but that message is just not for him. Because there's a lot of other fat asses getting in these trucks also. And need right. to hear the message, too. There's what? a lot of older guys getting in these trucks that have the same issues that can also listen to my message. Go get the Affordable Care Act. Man. That's what it's there for. I was hard hit it, too. I didn't want to get it. You know what I mean? I thought it was cheap ass health care. But actually, it's pretty fucking good. All you got to do is just go get it. It's free. I'm going to do free, it. Bro. I'm about to snatch that shit up as soon as as soon as soon I shut down. I'm about to get on it. About to get on the internet and, and see what's up with that shit. Because this bullshit, this, this bullshit health insurance I got through the company ain't shit. Oh, man, you got to pay $20. Forty dollars every time you go see a doctor. You got to pay for this. You got to pay. You might as well get the Affordable Care Act. What are you paying all that money for? <laughs> all right. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. I'm, hey, I'm trying. No, no, no. no. You good, bro? You good, bro? Sis, speak it. Speak it. People need to. People need to hear that shit, man. That's the problem. People don't. People don't listen. So. But TBE, man, thanks for your time, bro. I really do appreciate it, man. You stay safe out there, my G. All right, man. Y'all take it easy, bro. All right, we'll get back at it again. All right, keep grinding.